you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. We got one that's, you know, it's a few months old now. I've been sitting on this one for a couple of weeks now since I picked it up. It is HK87 Assassin Droid from Ahsoka. This is the red version. Um, yeah, I was originally going to skip on it, but when it dropped down to uh, 19 buckaroonies, I decided I'd whip it up. And uh, yeah, it's kind of just been sitting around for a couple of weeks um, while I've been sort of focused on other stuff. So um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to opening this one up. I do intend on getting a second one of the vintage version, which I have reviewed. I'll put a link at the end of the video for the vintage version. I would like to get a second one of that because he does come with the staff. Um, this one obviously only coming with a gun. Should have come with a staff, um, but for my other HK87s, I actually used the Magna Guard extra force pikes for that so i'll get one of those and show you how it looks on this droid um so yeah number five from the ahsoka line again this one's been out for a few months now so i'm just playing a little bit of catch up and i wanted to check it out so let's do that let's bust it open and have a look all right here he is out of the packaging i'm just gonna say yeah, straight off the straight off the gate this is just one of those action figures, much like his counterparts here behind him. I have two of those. We'll have a look at them in a minute as a comparison. They just do not want to stand up on their own. They're just there's a little bit of top heaviness, skinny legs, skinny ankle joints. It's just it's just a uh, a matter of the gods just hoping that it doesn't fall down right now. Um, you know, we've had a few figures like this in the past. General Grievous, K two S O, for example. This is just another one, so I'm actually going to get straight to the action figure stand, and we're going to do the peg test first. So if I can get this guy to stand up, I'm aware he is already on a stand. So we've got here the uh, Kessel Run KR stand. Pop that in the foot. It's a nice snug fit there. So again, it's the articulation. Got to tweak it a little bit to get him to... Him to lean in a certain direction is proving a little tricky. I'm very proud of these stands, but um, <laughs> again, out of all the figures we sourced to make these stands work, you know, they're never going to be perfect for every single figure. So there we go. That one works. Just just replacement, just placement and posability. All right, so we are going to look at the accessories as always. Um, just comes with his standard blaster here, which is fine. That's all right. It looks good. I'm probably going to switch this out with a staff from the other one. So I'm just going to take it out of his hand. But yeah, he does hold it quite well. He's got all the articulation. Um, and yeah, obviously the uh, the black sort of cape, soft goods cape here. I guess you could count that as an accessory. So I will leave that off just for the moment while we take a look at all the paint details and everything on the figure. I was a little skeptical at first of this guy, I'll be honest. Um, it seemed to have a little bit more to be desired um, at first glances at it in packaging. It looked, kind of just looked just red. But looking at it in closer detail, there's there's a little bit more to it than that. Like There is some scuffing, there is, some, there is a little bit of a wash. You can kind of just sort of see it over the torso there. Um, I guess looking at the head, there's no real sort of extra damage or ch paint chips on it. It's pretty much just that silver dot and a slightly different red on the visor. So if you wanted to, you know, mix it up a little bit, you could probably just add in some extra details with a Sharpie, maybe, you know, some little silver scratches on some edges or something just to, just to give it a little bit more liveliness. Um, given that the torso has that as well, you can kind of see, you know, just around the corners there, there's some, you know, paint chipping and scuffing and, you know, just makes it look like these guys have seen a little bit of action. Even on, even on the arm there, there's it's a little bit, it just gives a little bit more life to, to a figure that's otherwise, you know, predominantly just one colour. You know, a little bit of washing, some dry wash marks on there. Some scuffing on the back of the leg there. But the sculpting detail is pretty good. And then some sort of, yeah, dirt weathering on the back of the leg there. 
kind of see some marking and stuff. Yeah, it's just dirt and wear and tear. But otherwise, I, I think it's a decent looking figure. I'm, I'm glad of glad to have picked this one up. Um, I probably wouldn't hesitate to grab another. You know, I've got these two behind me, which one of them is customised. I can't remember which side it actually went on, but I did a bit of a robe flip. We'll get a look at them in a minute, like I said. Um, but yeah, I'm not not unimpressed with how this guy turned out. Um, especially with the, the sort of the darker grey elements sort of breaking that up, breaking up that red. Because if the like even if the legs were red, shoulders were red, it'd be a little bit overkill because we've got those sort of sections in the middle, the neck, the shoulders, elbows, wrists, torso, you know, even the, the chest plate there, even on the back, a little bit of the, the markings there, through to the mechanics of the uh, inner thighs there, to the knees, and of course the grey legs. It just helps break up that plain colour a little bit just doesn't yeah makes it look a little bit more two-dimensional um but yeah articulation wise he's got the uh ball and socket in the head i don't is my, there's probably a ball, ball socket in the neck there too but it's not really moving a great deal he does still have the little the little hole in the shoulder there which was used for that actually tells me that the one on the right there was the original. Um, it's just the way the ropes were sort of draped to the side. Once the soft goods back on, you're not going to know. Um, ball hinges at the shoulders. And you've got those sort of flexible pads, shoulder pads, to allow that movement, which is great. See a little bit of extra movement in there too. Bit of a butterfly joint, which is nice. We do have... Hinge at the elbow, swivel at the top there, and a swivel at the bottom of the elbow. So we've got a swivel at the wrists and an inward and outward hinge at that wrist. And same on this arm, but an but up and down hinge on that wrist as well as the swivel. Uh, torso joint there. The belt will move a little bit. But yeah, you've got a ball and socket there at the thigh, we have a swivel, a bit of a swivel there, yep, we have a hinge at the knee, hinge at the ankle, and a rocker, rocker joint in the foot, um, but yeah, that's, you're just looking at the little gap there, that's, yeah, I don't want to move that too much, again, if I do, that'll be, uh, It'll be heated up first. So again, just trying to get this guy in a standing pose. Get the soft goods back on him. So I think the soft goods looks good. I like the cape. I don't know. There's something about droids. Droids in ponchos and capes. There's just something about it. I think I mentioned that in my review of that guy. Um, which we will look at now. So yeah, here's the original. Uh, obviously... This is the shoulder. There's a little peg in the rope piece. Um, but yeah, the, the weapon this guy is holding is what didn't come with the figure. These these were an extra with the Magna Guards. So if you've got a couple of Magna Guards, you should have these spare. So I just like that look a little bit like a warrior. Um, and yeah, this is my switched around one. And I'm going to take, take, this, take this staff. I might even find something alternative to to one of them. So I'm going to give that to Mr. Red here. You all love that scene at the start of Ahsoka, the first episode, when you've just got that one Ahsoka comes out of the temple with the map. And it's just that one lone sort of HK droid just sort of standing there in the walkway. Just still, just still as. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep him with this. I'll go through my accessories and see if I can pick out something different. 
give this one back to the other two so they match and give this guy something a little bit different. Then just a bit of side by side to the two. I do like how different they look. You know, in the different paint schemes, I think it looks quite good. Given that they've got the uh, different, you know, he's got the sort of the side poncho sleeve robe thing and the ropes that sort of wrap around. Different belt too, which is cool. Um, yeah, it's just a few differences there just to mix these guys up. Like I said, I customised this one, so I swapped it, swapped the outfits around and they sort of sit either side of Morgan Elspeth on my shelf. <laughs> Damn it. He was in it for so long. So long. But he could not stand another moment. There's nothing to do with the stands. That's all figure. <laughs> Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, drop a comment down below. I'll see you very soon for some more figure reviews. But until then, may the force be with you always.